Delegation is not just a managerial buzzword. It's a fundamental skill that underpins the success of any leader or manager. The ability to delegate effectively can mean the difference between a thriving career and one mired in inefficiency and burnout. Delegation allows leaders to leverage the strengths of their team, fostering an environment where everyone can excel. When done right, it creates a culture of trust, empowers employees and drives organisational success. Effective delegation doesn't merely involve assigning tasks. It requires understanding the strengths and weaknesses of your team members and aligning tasks with their capabilities. This strategic alignment ensures that tasks are completed not just efficiently, but also excellently. It also frees up leaders to focus on higher level strategic planning and decision making, thus multiplying their impact and productivity. However, many managers struggle with delegation. They either micromanage, which stifles creativity and growth, or they abdicate responsibility, leading to chaos and unmet goals. Mastering the art of delegation involves striking a delicate balance. It requires clear communication, trust, and an understanding of the bigger picture. By honing this skill, leaders can ensure that their teams are not just busy, but productive and aligned with the organization's goals. In this video, we will explore the nuances of delegation, drawing on historical examples and contemporary research. We will delve into the mindset and skills needed to delegate effectively and examine case studies from history that highlight the transformative power of this skill. By the end of this journey, you will have actionable insights to guarantee the successful completion of delegated tasks, ensuring career success for you and your team. Throughout history, great leaders have recognized the importance of delegation. One of the most striking examples is Henry Ford. Ford's innovative approach to delegation revolutionized the auto industry. By delegating responsibilities and empowering his workers, he was able to streamline production and introduce the assembly line, which drastically reduced the cost and time required to produce a car. This not only made automobiles accessible to the masses, but also established Ford as a titan of industry. Another historical figure who exemplified effective delegation was Queen Elizabeth I of England. Facing numerous challenges, including threats from rival nations and internal dissent, Elizabeth understood that she could not manage the kingdom's affairs alone. She delegated key responsibilities to trusted advisers and military leaders, creating a robust and resilient administration. This delegation of authority allowed England to thrive during her reign, marking the Elizabethan era as one of cultural flourishing and national strength. Delegation also played a pivotal role in the success of the Apollo 11 mission. NASA's ambitious goal of landing a man on the moon required the coordination and cooperation of thousands of scientists, engineers and support staff. By delegating tasks and responsibilities across specialised teams, NASA was able to achieve what was once thought impossible. This monumental achievement was a testament to the power of effective delegation. These historical examples underscore the fact that delegation is not just about offloading work. It is about empowering individuals, fostering innovation and achieving goals that would be unattainable alone. By examining these examples, we gain valuable insights into the principles and practices that underpin successful delegation. Before diving into the mechanics of delegation, it's crucial to understand the foundational elements that make it effective. One of the first steps is cultivating a mindset that values trust and empowerment. As Stephen R. Covey famously said, trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundational principle that holds all relationships. Building a culture of trust begins with leaders who are willing to entrust significant responsibilities to their team members. Effective delegation also requires clear and concise communication. This means setting precise expectations, defining roles, and providing the necessary resources and support. 
When delegating a task, it's important to articulate the desired outcomes clearly. This not only ensures that the team member understands what is expected, but also allows them to take ownership of the task and be accountable for its completion. Moreover, feedback plays a critical role in the delegation process. Providing constructive feedback helps team members improve and learn from their experiences. It also reinforces the trust and communication channels necessary for successful delegation. Regular check-ins and updates can help ensure that tasks are on track and that any issues are addressed promptly. Finally, leaders must be willing to let go. This can be one of the most challenging aspects of delegation. It involves trusting that team members will carry out their responsibilities effectively and resisting the urge to micromanage. By stepping back, leaders allow their team members to develop their skills and grow into their roles, ultimately fostering a more capable and confident workforce. In the following sections, we will delve deeper into these principles, supported by historical case studies and contemporary research, to provide a comprehensive guide to mastering delegation. Effective delegation begins with the right mindset. Leaders must first see delegation not as a way to offload work, but as a strategic tool to empower and develop their team. This requires a shift from a control-oriented mentality to one of trust and empowerment. Leaders who embrace this mindset understand that their role is to guide and support their team rather than micromanage every detail. Stephen R. Covey said, the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. Emphasizing that leaders should focus on high impact activities while entrusting other tasks to their team. Trust is the cornerstone of effective delegation. Building trust involves transparent communication, consistent behavior, and demonstrating confidence in team members' abilities. When leaders trust their team, they foster an environment where individuals feel valued and empowered to take initiative. This trust must be mutual. Team members need to believe in their leader's vision and feel secure in their roles. Establishing this trust often requires time and effort, but it's a crucial investment for successful delegation. Another vital aspect of the delegation mindset is the willingness to accept mistakes. Leaders must understand that errors are part of the learning process. When team members know they can make mistakes without fear of harsh repercussions, they are more likely to take risks and innovate. This acceptance of failure as a learning opportunity encourages a culture of continuous improvement and resilience. Leaders should provide guidance and support, helping their team learn from missteps and grow stronger. Lastly, leaders must cultivate patience and persistence. Delegation is not an overnight success, but a gradual process of building competence and confidence within the team. Effective delegation requires continuous effort and refinement. Leaders should remain patient as their team members develop new skills and take on increasing responsibilities. By maintaining this long-term perspective, leaders can create a robust and capable team ready to tackle any challenge. Skills required for successful delegation. Effective delegation is more than just handing off tasks. It requires a set of refined skills that leaders must develop. One of the most critical skills is communication. Clear and direct communication ensures that team members understand their responsibilities, the expected outcomes and the resources available to them. Leaders should articulate the purpose and importance of each task providing context that helps team members see the bigger picture and how their contributions fit into the overall strategy. Another essential skill is active listening. Delegation is a two-way street and leaders must be receptive to their team's feedback and concerns. Active listening involves not only hearing but understanding and responding to team members' needs. This skill helps leaders identify potential issues early and adjust their approach accordingly. By fostering an open dialogue, leaders can build stronger relationships and ensure that their team feels supported and valued. 
Time management is also crucial for successful delegation. Leaders must be adept at prioritizing tasks and allocating time efficiently. This involves not just managing their own time, but also helping their team develop effective time management practices. Setting realistic deadlines and providing adequate time for task completion helps prevent burnout and ensures a steady workflow. Leaders should also be flexible adjusting timelines and priorities as needed to accommodate changing circumstances. Lastly, leaders must possess strong problem-solving skills. Delegation often involves navigating unforeseen challenges and obstacles. Effective leaders anticipate potential issues and develop contingency plans. They also empower their team to think critically and solve problems independently. By fostering a problem-solving mindset, leaders can create a resilient team capable of handling complex situations and delivering high-quality results. Leadership Lessons from Stephen R. Covey Stephen R. Covey, renowned for his work on personal and professional effectiveness, offers valuable insights into the art of delegation. One of his key principles is the concept of win-win thinking. Covey advocates for creating mutually beneficial solutions where both the leader and the team member feel satisfied with the outcome. This approach to delegation ensures that tasks are aligned with the team member's strengths and interests, enhancing engagement and productivity. Covey's philosophy emphasizes collaboration over competition, fostering a harmonious and productive work environment. Covey also highlights the importance of beginning with the end in mind. When delegating tasks, leaders should clearly define the desired outcomes and standards for success. This clarity helps team members understand the goal and align their efforts accordingly. By providing a clear vision, leaders can ensure that their team remains focused and motivated. Covey's emphasis on vision and direction is crucial for maintaining alignment and achieving high quality results. Empowerment is another central theme in Covey's teachings. He believes that leaders should empower their team by providing the necessary resources, authority and support. Empowerment involves trusting team members to make decisions and take ownership of their tasks. Covey's approach encourages leaders to delegate not just tasks but also decision-making authority, allowing team members to develop their skills and grow professionally. This empowerment leads to increased confidence, innovation and job satisfaction. Lastly, Covey underscores the importance of continuous improvement. Effective delegation is an ongoing process that requires regular feedback and adjustment. Leaders should provide constructive feedback, recognising successes and identifying areas for improvement. Covey's principles encourage a growth mindset, where both leaders and team members are committed to learning and development. By fostering a culture of continuous improvement, leaders can ensure sustained success and adaptability in a dynamic work environment. Insights from Peter Drucker on delegation. Peter Drucker, often referred to as the father of modern management, offers profound insights into the practice of delegation. Drucker's approach to delegation is rooted in the principle of focusing on strengths. He argues that leaders should identify and leverage the unique strengths of their team members. By assigning tasks that align with individual strengths, leaders can enhance performance and job satisfaction. Drucker's focus on strengths-based delegation ensures that tasks are completed efficiently and effectively. Drucker also emphasizes the importance of setting clear objectives. He believes that leaders should define precise goals and expectations for each delegated task. This clarity helps team members understand what is required and how their work contributes to the larger organizational goals. Drucker's approach to goal setting includes measurable outcomes, which enable leaders and team members to track progress and assess performance. Clear objectives provide direction and motivation, ensuring that delegation leads to meaningful results. Another key insight from Drucker is the concept of decentralization. He advocates for distributing decision-making authority to the lowest possible level within the organization. 
This decentralization empowers team members to make decisions and take action without constant oversight. Drucker's approach fosters a sense of ownership and accountability, encouraging team members to take initiative and innovate. Decentralization also allows leaders to focus on strategic priorities, enhancing overall organizational efficiency. Lastly, Drucker stresses the importance of feedback and accountability. Effective delegation involves regular check-ins and performance reviews to ensure that tasks are on track and objectives are being met. Drucker's emphasis on accountability ensures that team members remain focused and responsible for their work. Providing timely feedback helps address any issues early and reinforces a culture of continuous improvement. Drucker's principles of feedback and accountability are essential for maintaining high standards and achieving successful delegation outcomes. Henry Ford's story is a quintessential example of how effective delegation can revolutionize an industry and create lasting impact. Ford's innovative approach to manufacturing was rooted in his understanding of delegation as a means to optimize production processes. By breaking down complex tasks into simpler specialized operations, he effectively delegated responsibilities across his workforce. This innovative method culminated in the assembly line, a system that drastically reduced the time and cost of producing automobiles, making them accessible to the masses. Ford understood that the success of the assembly line depended on empowering workers to take ownership of their tasks. He provided extensive training to ensure each worker was skilled in their specific role. This not only increased efficiency, but also improved job satisfaction as employees became experts in their tasks. Ford's emphasis on specialization and empowerment highlights the importance of aligning tasks with individual strengths, a principle that remains crucial in modern delegation practices. Moreover, Ford's delegation strategy extended beyond the factory floor. He delegated significant responsibilities to his management team, trusting them to implement his vision effectively. By doing so, he was able to focus on strategic planning and innovation, driving the company forward. This level of trust and empowerment within his leadership team fostered a culture of accountability and high performance, illustrating the profound impact of trust in successful delegation. Ford's approach to delegation also included a focus on continuous improvement. He encouraged feedback and innovation at all levels of the organization. This openness to new ideas and improvements allowed Ford Motor Company to remain at the forefront of the industry, continually enhancing production processes and product quality. Ford's legacy demonstrates that effective delegation is not a one-time act, but an ongoing process of trust, empowerment and continuous improvement. Queen Elizabeth of England faced numerous challenges during her reign, including threats from powerful rival nations and internal political strife. Her ability to effectively delegate was crucial in navigating these complex issues and ensuring the stability and prosperity of her kingdom. Elizabeth's delegation strategy centered around choosing capable and trustworthy advisors whom she empowered to make critical decisions on her behalf. Elizabeth's selection of advisors like Sir Francis Walsingham and William Cecil illustrates her strategic approach to delegation. She chose individuals who were not only skilled, but also loyal and aligned with her vision for England. By delegating significant responsibilities to these trusted advisors, she was able to focus on broader strategic concerns, such as foreign policy and national defense. This trust in her advisors enabled a more efficient and effective administration. The Queen's delegation extended to military leadership as well. During the threat of the Spanish Armada, Elizabeth delegated command to experienced leaders like Lord Howard of Effingham and Sir Francis Drake. This delegation of military authority ensured that England's defences were well coordinated and responsive to threats. Elizabeth's ability to trust and empower her military leaders was instrumental in England's victory over the Spanish Armada, a triumph that secured her legacy and the nation's safety. 
Elizabeth's reign also exemplified the importance of clear communication and delegation. She maintained regular correspondence with her advisers and military leaders, ensuring that she remained informed and involved in critical decisions. This communication fostered a sense of unity and alignment within her administration, allowing for cohesive and effective governments. Elizabeth's legacy as a successful monarch underscores the transformative power of strategic and well-executed delegation. The Apollo 11 mission, which successfully landed the first humans on the moon, is a prime example of coordinated delegation at its finest. This monumental achievement was the result of meticulous planning, collaboration and delegation across a vast network of scientists, engineers and support staff. NASA's approach to delegation was characterized by clear objectives, specialized roles and robust communication channels. NASA's delegation strategy began with defining clear and ambitious goals. The directive from President John F. Kennedy to land a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s provided a unifying vision. This clear objective guided the delegation of tasks and responsibilities throughout the organization. Each team and individual had a specific role that contributed to the overall mission, ensuring that every effort was aligned with the ultimate goal. Specialization was a key element of NASA's delegation approach. Tasks were divided into highly specialized roles with experts in various fields focusing on their areas of expertise. This specialization enabled NASA to leverage the unique skills and knowledge of its personnel, enhancing the overall efficiency and effectiveness of the mission. From the astronauts to the engineers designing the spacecraft, each individual's contributions were critical to the mission's success. Effective communication was essential in coordinating the complex web of tasks and teams involved in the Apollo 11 mission. NASA established robust communication channels, ensuring that information flowed seamlessly between different teams and levels of the organization. Regular updates, briefings and debriefings kept everyone informed and aligned. This communication infrastructure was crucial in addressing challenges and making real-time decisions during the mission. The success of the Apollo 11 mission was also a testament to the importance of trust and empowerment in delegation. NASA's leadership trusted their teams to execute their responsibilities effectively, providing the necessary resources and support. This trust fostered a sense of accountability and ownership among team members, driving them to perform at their best. The coordinated delegation exemplified by the Apollo 11 mission remains a powerful example of achieving extraordinary goals through effective delegation. Genghis Khan delegating to create an empire. Genghis Khan, the founder of the Mongol Empire, is often remembered for his military conquests and strategic brilliance. However, his success was also rooted in his exceptional ability to delegate. Genghis Khan's delegation tactics were integral to the expansion and administration of his vast empire, allowing him to maintain control over diverse and widespread territories. One of Genghis Khan's key delegation strategies was the establishment of a meritocratic system. He appointed leaders based on their abilities and loyalty rather than their noble birth. This approach ensured that the most capable individuals were in positions of authority, enhancing the effectiveness and efficiency of his administration. By delegating responsibilities to trusted and competent leaders, Genghis Khan created a robust and resilient governance structure. Genghis Khan also implemented a decentralized command structure. He divided his empire into several regions, each governed by a designated leader who had significant autonomy. These regional leaders were responsible for maintaining order, collecting taxes and managing local affairs. This decentralization allowed for more responsive and flexible governance as local leaders could address issues and make decisions quickly without waiting for directives from the central authority. Communication played a crucial role in Genghis Khan's delegation strategy. He established an efficient relay system known as the YAM, which enabled rapid communication across his vast empire. This system allowed for the swift transmission of orders, intelligence and updates, ensuring that regional leaders were well informed and aligned with the central authority's objectives. 
Effective communication facilitated coordination and cohesion within the empire, contributing to its stability and expansion. Genghis Khan's success in delegation was also evident in his military campaigns. He delegated command to his most trusted generals, such as Subutai and Jebe, granting them the authority to lead and make strategic decisions in the field. This trust in his generals' capabilities allowed for more dynamic and adaptive military operations, leading to numerous victories. Genghis Khan's delegation tactics not only facilitated the rapid expansion of his empire, but also established a legacy of strategic governance and effective administration. Psychological insights into delegation. Understanding the psychological aspects of delegation is crucial for leaders aiming to implement it effectively. One key insight is the concept of psychological ownership. This occurs when team members feel a sense of ownership over their tasks and responsibilities. According to a study published in the Journal of Organizational Behavior in 2011, psychological ownership leads to increased motivation, commitment and performance. When leaders delegate with the intent to foster this sense of ownership, they tap into their team members' intrinsic motivation, driving better results. Another important psychological factor is the need for autonomy. People generally have a fundamental desire to feel in control of their actions and decisions. Research by Deshi and Ryan, published in 2000, highlights that autonomy is a critical component of self-determination theory, which posits that autonomy, competence and relatedness are essential for psychological growth and well-being. Delegating tasks while providing autonomy satisfies this need, leading to higher job satisfaction and productivity. Moreover, the perception of fairness plays a significant role in delegation. When team members perceive that tasks are assigned equitably and that their contributions are valued, their engagement and morale improve. A study in the Journal of Applied Psychology in 2008 found that perceived fairness in task allocation is strongly correlated with job satisfaction and organisational commitment. Leaders should ensure transparent and fair delegation practices to maintain a motivated and cohesive team. Finally, the concept of competence is intertwined with delegation. Leaders must delegate tasks that match the skills and abilities of their team members. When individuals feel competent in their assigned tasks, they are more likely to take ownership and perform well. This alignment between task complexity and individual capability is supported by research in the field of positive psychology, which suggests that people thrive when they are challenged appropriately. Therefore, understanding and leveraging psychological insights can significantly enhance the effectiveness of delegation. The role of communication in delegation. Effective communication is the backbone of successful delegation. Clear communication ensures that team members understand their tasks, the expected outcomes and the resources available to them. According to a 2020 study in the Harvard Business Review, clear and concise communication is directly linked to improved team performance and goal attainment. Leaders should prioritize establishing a communication framework that facilitates clarity and alignment. Setting expectations is a critical aspect of communication in delegation. Leaders must articulate the desired outcomes and performance standards for each task. This clarity provides team members with a roadmap, enabling them to align their efforts with the organizational goals. A 2015 study in the Journal of Management found that setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound SMART goals enhances team productivity and accountability. Regular feedback is another essential component of effective communication. Constructive feedback helps team members understand their progress, recognize areas for improvement and refine their approach. A meta-analysis published in the Journal of Applied Psychology in 2018 revealed that regular feedback significantly boosts employee performance and engagement. Leaders should establish regular check-ins and feedback loops to support their team's development and ensure tasks are on track. Lastly, fostering an open communication culture is vital. 
Team members should feel comfortable sharing their thoughts, concerns and suggestions. This openness encourages collaboration and innovation, as individuals are more likely to contribute ideas and solutions. A study in the Academy of Management Journal in 2017 found that open communication cultures enhance team cohesion and collective problem-solving capabilities. By promoting open communication, leaders can create a supportive environment that facilitates successful delegation. Building trust through delegation. Trust is a fundamental element in the delegation process. Without trust, delegation can become a source of tension and inefficiency. According to Stephen R. Covey, trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundational principle that holds all relationships. Building trust involves demonstrating reliability, integrity and competence which encourages team members to feel confident in their leaders' decisions. Leaders can build trust by consistently following through on their commitments. A study published in the Journal of Business Ethics in 2014 found that reliability is a key factor in establishing trust within teams. When leaders show that they are dependable and keep their promises, team members are more likely to trust them and feel secure in their roles. This trust is crucial for effective delegation as it ensures that team members are willing to take on responsibilities and perform at their best. Transparency is another cornerstone of trust. Leaders should be open about their decision-making processes and the reasons behind task assignments. This transparency helps team members understand the bigger picture and how their contributions fit into the overall strategy. A 2016 study in the Journal of Organisational Behaviour found that transparent communication significantly enhances trust and cooperation with teams. Empowerment also plays a vital role in building trust. When leaders delegate meaningful tasks and grant the necessary authority to complete them, they signal trust in their team members' abilities. This empowerment fosters a sense of ownership and accountability. Research published in the Journal of Applied Psychology in 2019 indicates that empowered employees are more engaged and perform better. By empowering their team, leaders build a foundation of trust that supports effective delegation. Finally, leaders should cultivate a supportive and inclusive environment. When team members feel valued and respected, trust naturally follows. A study in the Leadership Quarterly in 2017 highlights that inclusive leadership practices enhance trust and team cohesion. Leaders should actively listen to their team, acknowledge their contributions and create opportunities for everyone to participate in decision-making processes. Building trust through these practices ensures a successful delegation framework. Research on delegation practices. Empirical research provides valuable insights into effective delegation practices. A comprehensive study published in the Journal of Business Research in 2018 examined the impact of delegation on organizational performance. The findings indicate that organizations with high levels of effective delegation outperform those with low delegation practices. This research underscores the importance of mastering delegation as a strategic tool for career success and organizational excellence. Another study published in the Journal of Management Studies in 2019 explored the role of delegation in employee development. The researchers found that effective delegation significantly contributes to skill development and career advancement. By delegating challenging tasks and providing appropriate support, Leaders can facilitate their team members' growth and prepare them for future leadership roles. This developmental approach to delegation benefits both individuals and organisations. The importance of context in delegation is highlighted by a study in the Academy of Management Review in 2020. The researchers argue that the effectiveness of delegation depends on the organisational culture and the specific context in which it occurs. For instance, in high-stakes environments, 
More structured and controlled delegation may be necessary, whereas in creative industries, a more flexible approach might be beneficial. Leaders should adapt their delegation strategies to the unique needs of their organization and team. Finally, a meta-analysis published in the Leadership Quarterly in 2021 examined the link between delegation and employee engagement. The analysis revealed that effective delegation is strongly correlated with higher levels of employee engagement and job satisfaction. Engaged employees are more productive, innovative and committed to their organisation. This research highlights the multifaceted benefits of effective delegation, reinforcing its critical role in achieving career success and organisational goals. In conclusion, these psychological insights and research findings provide a robust framework for mastering delegation. By understanding the underlying principles and applying evidence-based practices, leaders can ensure the successful completion of delegated tasks and foster a thriving, high-performing team. Modern Corporate Delegation, the Google Case Study When it comes to modern examples of effective delegation in a corporate setting, Google stands out as a prime illustration. Google's success can be attributed in large part to its organisational culture, which emphasises empowerment and trust. By delegating responsibilities across various teams and fostering a decentralised decision-making process, Google has been able to maintain its innovative edge and rapid growth. One of the key aspects of Google's delegation strategy is its use of cross-functional teams. These teams are composed of members from different departments and expertise areas, allowing for a diverse range of perspectives and skills. This approach not only enhances creativity and problem solving, but also ensures that tasks are executed efficiently by those best suited to handle them. By delegating responsibilities to these cross-functional teams, Google can tackle complex projects with agility and effectiveness. Another critical element of Google's delegation model is its adherence to the 70-20-10 rule. This principle suggests that employees should spend 70% of their time on core projects, 20% on related projects, and 10% on new innovative ideas. This rule empowers employees to take ownership of their tasks while also encouraging them to explore new opportunities and innovations. By delegating the freedom to innovate, Google fosters a culture of continuous improvement and creativity. Google also places a strong emphasis on transparency and communication. Regular all-hands meetings, known as TGFs, thank God it's Friday, provide a platform for employees to stay informed about company-wide initiatives and progress. This transparency builds trust and ensures that everyone is aligned with the company's goals. Open communication channels facilitate efficient delegation and collaboration, ensuring that tasks are completed effectively and in harmony with the company's objectives. In conclusion, Google's success in delegation is a testament to the power of empowerment, cross-functional collaboration and transparent communication. By adopting these practices, other organisations can enhance their delegation strategies and achieve similar levels of innovation and efficiency. Delegation in small businesses. Lessons from local entrepreneurs. Delegation is not just for large corporations. Small businesses can also benefit significantly from effective delegation practices. Local entrepreneurs often face unique challenges such as limited resources and personnel, making delegation even more crucial for operational success and growth. By learning from successful small business owners, we can uncover valuable insights into practical delegation strategies. One lesson from local entrepreneurs is the importance of prioritising tasks. Small business owners often wear multiple hats, from marketing to customer service. Effective delegation involves identifying which tasks can be outsourced or assigned to other team members to free up time for strategic planning and growth activities. For example, delegating administrative tasks to a virtual assistant can allow business owners to focus on high-impact areas like business development and customer relationships. Another key insight is the value of building a reliable team. Successful small business owners invest time in hiring and training their staff to ensure they are capable and trustworthy. By nurturing a skilled and dependable team, 
entrepreneurs can confidently delegate tasks, knowing they will be executed competently. This trust in their team enables business owners to focus on scaling their operations and exploring new opportunities. Empowerment is also a critical component of delegation in small businesses. Entrepreneurs who empower their employees by giving them the authority to make decisions and solve problems create a more dynamic and responsive work environment. This empowerment not only boosts employee morale and job satisfaction, but also drives innovation and efficiency. For instance, a local bakery owner who empowers their staff to manage inventory and customer orders can focus on developing new products and expanding their business. Lastly, local entrepreneurs often leverage technology to enhance delegation. Tools such as project management software, communication platforms and automation can streamline processes and improve coordination. By integrating these tools, small business owners can delegate tasks more effectively, ensuring that their team remains organized and aligned with business goals. In summary, small business owners can master delegation by prioritizing tasks, building a reliable team, empowering employees, and leveraging technology. These practices can help them overcome resource constraints and achieve sustainable growth. In today's digital age, technology plays a pivotal role in enhancing delegation practices. Modern tools and platforms can streamline communication, track progress and facilitate collaboration, making delegation more efficient and effective. By leveraging the right technology, leaders can ensure that tasks are delegated smoothly and completed successfully. One of the most impactful technological advancements in delegation is project management software. Tools like Trello, Asana and Monday.com allow leaders to assign tasks, set deadlines and monitor progress in real time. These platforms provide a centralised location for all project-related information, ensuring that team members have access to the resources and updates they need. This transparency and organisation help prevent misunderstandings and ensure that tasks are completed on time. Communication platforms are another essential technological tool for delegation. Solutions like Slack, Microsoft Teams and Zoom enable seamless communication between team members, regardless of their location. These platforms support instant messaging, video conferencing and file sharing, facilitating efficient collaboration and feedback. Effective communication is critical for successful delegation and these tools ensure that team members stay connected and informed. Automation technology can also significantly enhance delegation by reducing the burden of repetitive tasks. Tools such as Zapier and IFTTTT, if this then that, can automate workflows such as data entry, email responses and social media posting. By automating these routine tasks, leaders can free up their team members' time for more strategic and creative work. This efficiency boost allows for a more productive and engaged workforce. Finally, performance tracking tools provide valuable insights into team members' progress and productivity. Software like Hubstaff and Time Doctor can track time spent on tasks, monitor activity levels and generate detailed reports. These insights help leaders identify areas for improvement and provide targeted feedback. By using performance tracking tools, leaders can ensure that delegated tasks are being completed efficiently and effectively. In conclusion, technology offers a wealth of tools that can enhance delegation practices. By leveraging project management software, communication platforms, automation tools and performance tracking solutions, leaders can streamline their delegation processes and achieve better outcomes. To master delegation in contemporary settings, leaders can adopt several practical techniques that have been proven effective. These techniques focus on clarity, empowerment and continuous improvement, ensuring that tasks are delegated smoothly and completed successfully. The first technique is to set clear expectations. Leaders should provide detailed instructions and define the desired outcomes for each delegated task. This clarity helps team members understand what is expected of them and how their work contributes to the overall goals. 
Using the SMART criteria, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound, can help in setting clear and attainable goals. Another practical technique is to match tasks with team members' strengths and interests. By aligning tasks with individual skills and passions, leaders can enhance motivation and performance. For instance, assigning a creative marketing project to a team member with a background in graphic design can lead to more innovative and high-quality outcomes. Understanding your team's strengths and interests is key to effective delegation. Empowerment is also crucial for successful delegation. Leaders should grant team members the authority and resources they need to complete their tasks independently. This empowerment fosters a sense of ownership and accountability, motivating team members to perform at their best. Encouraging autonomy and decision-making within defined boundaries can lead to greater innovation and job satisfaction. Finally, fostering a culture of feedback and continuous improvement is essential. Regular check-ins and constructive feedback help team members stay on track and identify areas for growth. Leaders should create an environment where feedback is viewed as a positive and integral part of the delegation process. This ongoing dialogue ensures that tasks are being completed effectively and that team members are continually developing their skills. In summary, Practical techniques for effective delegation include setting clear expectations, matching tasks with team members' strengths, empowering team members and fostering a culture of feedback and continuous improvement. By implementing these techniques, leaders can ensure that their delegation practices lead to successful outcomes and a thriving team. As we conclude our exploration of mastering delegation, it is essential to revisit the core lessons gleaned from both historical and modern examples. Effective delegation is not merely about the redistribution of tasks, but rather a strategic tool that, when wielded correctly, can transform teams and organisations. From Henry Ford's assembly line innovations to Queen Elizabeth I's trust in her advisers, the power of delegation has been evident throughout history. One of the most critical insights is the importance of trust and empowerment. Leaders must create an environment where team members feel trusted to take on responsibilities and make decisions. This trust fosters a sense of ownership and accountability, driving individuals to deliver their best work. As Stephen R. Covey articulated, trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundational principle that holds all relationships. Clear communication and setting precise expectations are also vital. Delegation succeeds when team members understand what is expected of them, the resources available and the desired outcomes. The use of SMART goals ensures that tasks are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound, providing a clear framework for success. Another key aspect is aligning tasks with team members' strengths and interests. This strategic alignment not only enhances efficiency, but also boosts motivation and job satisfaction. Leaders who understand and leverage their team's skills can delegate tasks more effectively, ensuring high-quality outcomes. Finally, the importance of feedback and continuous improvement cannot be overstressed. Regular check-ins, constructive feedback, and an open communication culture enable teams to stay on track and continuously develop their skills. This ongoing dialogue is critical for refining delegation practices and achieving sustained success. In essence, mastering delegation involves a blend of trust, clear communication, strategic alignment and continuous feedback. By focusing on these elements, leaders can ensure the successful completion of delegated tasks and drive career and organisational success. At M. Joga Coaching and Consulting, we understand that mastering delegation is a cornerstone of effective leadership and career success. Our mission is to empower professionals with the tools and strategies they need to excel in their roles and achieve their career goals. We are your strongest ally in this journey, offering personalised coaching and consulting services designed to help you and your team thrive. Our approach is rooted in proven principles and tailored to your unique needs. 
We provide comprehensive training on delegation techniques, focusing on building trust, communication skills and strategic alignment. Our programs are informed by the latest research and best practices, ensuring that you receive cutting-edge insights and practical tools for success. We invite you to take the next step in your career journey by booking a complimentary career breakthrough call with us. During this call, we will assess your current delegation practices, identify opportunities for improvement and develop a customised plan to help you achieve your career objectives. This call is an opportunity to gain valuable insights and start implementing effective delegation strategies that can transform your professional life. In closing, remember the words of Peter Drucker. The best way to predict the future is to create it. By mastering delegation, you are not only enhancing your current capabilities, but also paving the way for future success. Let M. Joga Coaching and Consulting be your partner in this transformative journey. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of mastering delegation. We look forward to supporting you in achieving your career excellence. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call today and take the first step towards a more empowered and successful future.